the fastest growing type of family in America is the multi-generational family. This family, by the way, is six generations all alive at once. I got this picture from the New York Times, and when this picture was taken, Sarah Knaus, the matriarch of the family, was 118 years old. Her daughter Kitty was 95. Her grandson, Bob, was 73. Great-granddaughter Kathy was 49. Uh, Christina, the great-great-granddaughter, was 27. And then we see little Bradley in the corner there, the great-great-great-grandson, three years old. Six generations of one family, all alive at once, all involved in each other's lives. They may not even live near each other. They may not even like each other. But when it comes to certain decisions, especially around health, finance, real estate, you see that the family gets involved. What else? This whole concept of a sandwich generation that only came into being in about the 1980s, that's when they first coined that phrase, sandwich generation, is really growing in importance, really changing shape. Today, 30% of all working adults have some kind of sandwich generation responsibility. It's becoming so big, so massive, that I think it goes well beyond just being a sandwich. In fact, one of the women I interviewed for my book, she goes, for me, it's like a double-decker sandwich with the toast burnt and the cheese melting out the sides. At AgeWave, we've come up with a different way to describe the complexity. We think of it as having the complexity of a Rubik's Cube. Uh, let me use a woman as an example, a 52-year-old woman. And by the way, this could be a man, too but women are much more likely to be at the center of this web of complexity. Let's call this woman Liz. She's 52. She's done a great job with her life. She's married, has great kids, uh, loves her job, loves her husband, done well at saving. She's doing pretty well, but then she just found out that her daughter and grandson are about to move back in with her because her daughter wants a divorce and doesn't have any money. That came as a bit of a surprise. In addition to which, her son has always been a kind of deadbeat. I mean, he's never really held a job. She's always throwing him some extra cash, and now he's really asking for a lot. But at the same time, her parents are beginning to fail. Uh, her mom just had a hip replacement. Her dad's losing his vision. She's concerned that they may need to go into assisted living, and who's going to pay for that? And at the same time, her mother-in-law is getting early stage Alzheimer's, and there's no question that she's going to have to go into assisted living. Who's going to pay for that? And then, in a recent study that we did at AgeWave, women like Liz, and especially younger women in their 30s and 40s, they're worried that at some point they're going to have to be concerned with a brother or sister who has lost their job and can't really support themselves or their families anymore. So this web of complexity has many, many layers to it, and often finances are at the heart of what has to be dealt with, and it's very emotional as well.